If I have it my way, Chess is going to die before Brood War. <laughs> in all of our Tosis lunches, Cheddar Cheese, he adds it in bunches. The chat tries to plead, watch calories please. <laughs> Instead he just smiles and munches. I like it. Thank you, Beard Mouth. Alright, let's talk about ASL. Wait a minute. I need one more bite. It's so... It, dude, it's got like just the right amount of spice. Oh, it's just... Mmm. Mmm. Guys, I tell you, I lived here a long time. Korean food's f***ing good. Mm, I will never get sick of it. Okay. Let's talk about ASL. Let's talk about ASL. Okay, so let me give a little brief history of ASL. <sighs> All right, so Nick and I uh, both moved to Korea to cast StarCraft 1. That is why we moved out here. Uh, we've been out here. Nick has been out here for just over 13 years and me just under 13 years. He was here a few months before me. Um, but it, it's a long time. Like end of 2007, he came out. Like, I think it was December or something, 2007. I don't know. In that range. Me, uh, August 2008. Uh, so it's been a very long time that we've been out here. We came out here for StarCraft, just really passionate about the game. Uh, and, he, you know, he, uh, we, we've done all sorts of work in that time. Obviously, StarCraft 2 came out. We did that for a long time. Uh, and StarCraft 2 kind of killed StarCraft 1 out here via Blizzard, right? Blizzard, like, kind of wanted everyone to switch. They wanted everyone on the new game. Uh, and it really injured uh, the scene, like, really badly. Um, but a fair amount of the StarCraft 1 pros that switched to StarCraft 2 ended up quitting and going back and playing StarCraft 1. And some smaller leagues started up. Uh, and it was, like, really the dark ages of Korean StarCraft 1. And, uh, yeah, like, it, eventually, it started getting more popular on Afrika TV, right, as people were streaming it and everything, and more and more big-name players were going back. And so, eventually, they were going to make ASL, basically, because it was getting more popular, right? So, it needed a Star League, and that's fun, and everyone wants to see that. And uh, since StarCraft 1 was getting more popular on Afrika... And some, there were some official broadcasts for that. Nick and I started asking about casting it. And, um, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, Nick and I started asking about casting it a lot. And we just kept getting the answer that we always get. Everywhere we talk to anyone about StarCraft 1, uh, it is the same thing from Blizzard, from any company in Korea, everywhere. People are like, foreigners don't like StarCraft 1. Foreigners don't watch StarCraft 1. And Nick and I are just always like shaking our heads because this is made up. Uh, foreigners love StarCraft 1. It, you know, whatever. Anyways, Nick and I talked them into letting us what? cast a couple Where days. We Where were we? Okay, so yeah, yeah Nick and I uh, talked to them a lot about letting us give it a try. Because we're like, no, foreigners will watch this. Um, and this was back when... Uh, Afrika TV still had stuff on Twitch TV. And uh, so they let us try with like, we got to do one round of four match in the finals. And it was like the the season leading into ASL season one. So it was like, it was called like Vant Star League. And I believe it was like effort in a ZVZ and then like effort for Bisu finals. I want to say that was it. I think effort Bisu in the finals, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to remember. Uh... Yeah, so anyways, uh, we did that, and we got insane views on it. Insane views. Uh, it was like 17,000 people watching live, right? So that's really good for any StarCraft. Um, so we got to convince them to allow us to cast ASL. So we got to cast ASL 1, uh, Season 1, and uh, we cast it right through uh, Season 10. And it was awesome. Um, you know, uh, un unfortunately, like, uh, okay, so last year, they wanted to cancel the English cast. So Nick and I actually took pay cuts and kept doing it. Like, we, we begged and pleaded, and uh, they were kind enough to let us do seasons 9 and 10. Uh, this year, there was, there was really no discussion. We really tried to keep it going. 
Uh, and it just, it couldn't. So a big thank you to Afrika TV for supporting the ASL English cast for 10 seasons. That's amazing, right? That was a great time and uh, we loved it and it was awesome. And, you know, I wish that it did not, they did not cancel the uh, English casting. No, it doesn't have anything to do with COVID. It really doesn't. Like out here, things are not as different as everywhere else. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so uh, it did get canceled, as you guys know. That news came out. We're sad about it. Uh, the community had a gigantic outreach when it got canceled, the English casting. You know, obviously, that's a big part of our income. Nick and I are professional casters. Uh, it's an important thing to us. Any league, anything that we do, regular work is very important. We still have GSL. We just started casting Valorant. Nick is doing some some PUBG. So there's there's still work. We're not we're not going to starve or anything. But you know, that's the thing. Um, so, all right, so the, the outpouring from the community was really big. People were really kind. Everyone just like, Hey, can we crowdfund? Is there any way to do this? Is there any way? Um, so many people reached out. And so a big thanks to all you guys for that. So Nick and I have been brainstorming. We've been talking to Afrika TV, uh, quite a bit and trying to figure out what can we do? How can we, how can we make this work still? Right? Because I mean, professional casting is actually our jobs and we want to do it. This is such an important lead to us. We really love it. Um, so anyways, we, we met with Afrika uh, multiple times. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they will not sell the English broadcasting rights. Okay, so uh, we really tried to purchase those so that we could just do anything we want with the content, like stream it uh, on, you know, whatever we want and stuff like that. So unfortunately, we could not get that. They will not sell the uh, the English broadcasting rights. Uh, you know, it's their product. They can choose what they like. Uh, but they are allowing us to cast the VODs and put them onto YouTube. Okay, so uh, Nick and I were trying to figure out. Okay, what, well, if we can't broadcast it live, uh, is it we, can we can we broadcast it and put it onto YouTube? So this is what we're going to be doing. Um, a hundred percent, we're doing season eleven. Okay, and people have been offering to put in, you know, money, help fund it, and everything. Uh, let me let me just try to be really clear so everything's understood here, right? So we're gonna get the vods without Korean commentary on them. We are going to get everything. Uh, like interviews and stuff translated. Um, we're going to try to translate this, the different slides and stuff when they're giving information. We're going to try to do the best production we can. You see me, I'm already practicing with production with things like Ascension. So I hope that we can do a really good job with this. Uh, and the thing is, most people already watch ASL and watch Brood War in the foreign scene. Most people consume it via YouTube VODs. Uh, YouTube VODs get more views than live live events, live streams. Uh, yeah, so that's, we hope that you guys are, are going to be at least happy enough with what we're able to do here. Um, now, as the timing of the VODs, okay, so we have to get the VODs and we have to do some editing. Um, we, have to, we have to cast over them, right? Uh, since we can't do it live and everything. Um, so they're going to be released uh like in batches so like for instance the the round of 24 takes three weeks okay so like i think what we'll do schedule wise for that is going to be right after the round of 24 finishes we're going to cast the round of 24 and then upload to youtube like maybe we'll upload one one day one one day one one day one one day that type of thing right so like six days in a row of releases uh and while this isn't you know what we were hoping for being able to continue to do it live or anything uh we're gonna do our best and we hope that you guys like that and if there's uh good support for it and you guys uh enjoy it and we get good viewership and all that um yeah then then we'll continue and and we can we can grow it 
Uh, it just, I guess it just matters what the community likes and wants, and we will see with that. Uh, we did put up a Patreon for people to support this endeavor. Uh, so if you would like to, if not, no problem. If you would like to support the endeavor, a lot of people said that they would. Uh, we have that uh, for you. So you can go to patreon.com forward slash, forward slash ASL English. Uh, we, I mean, we've been working on this. Nick and I don't normally do things like this. So we're, we're still figuring it out a little bit. Um, and we want to add some, some cool things. We don't really have, uh, we, we haven't fully fleshed out what to put on the different things. And as far as supporter, the VODs are going to be going up live for everybody. Um, we just thought these were clever names. Well, I did at least. I was like, look at that. You're around a 24 guy if you're at five and yeah, so on and so forth. Um, so check it out. Yeah. Patreon.com forward slash ASL English. Uh, yeah. And we're going to do as good a job as we can. And I, I hope, I mean, if we get a lot of support via the Patreon, uh, we hope to grow it. We have some ideas. Like first, first up, if it gets high enough, we're going to do the second season. Even if you guys put no money into it at all, we do in this season. Um, and then, like, hopefully we can get it uh, so that we can do each season, and then maybe it can even grow from there. We were thinking maybe we'll check into other other contents that are out there that maybe we can cast as well. Anyways, that's... Uh, honestly, that's the, the best that we can really do. And, I mean, we'll be taking feedback and listening to what you guys have to say. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's what the option was basically and what could what could be done anyways yeah uh you can check it out if you like and and support it's up yeah up to you guys and yeah thank you for all the uh community uh support all the outreach that people have given and we do have that that set up now oh what youtube channel sorry okay so it's going to be uploaded to the official asl africa tv youtube channel so you know how we have a channel that you were watching ASL on before that already has all the VODs? We're putting them there. We want to keep everything together. We want, you know, it's, that's where ASL VODs go. So, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, yeah, sorry, I should have made that clear as well. Um, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's, uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can say. I think I explained it all correctly. Just realize that, uh, yeah, we can't do it live. We really, we, we checked, <laughs> we tried. It's, uh, yeah. But uh, since most people watch through VODs anyways, we hope that you can, uh, if you want to watch our commentaries, um, just chill for a couple weeks and then watch, watch the VODs as they come out. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, we're, we're excited about it. Nick and I, uh, as you guys know, we're super passionate about StarCraft 1. I mean, fuck, guys. I play it every day. Every day. It's, like, all I think about. So <laughs> I'm glad that we found some way to keep casting the very best tournament in the world. Will we meet up to cast, or will we do it remotely? Um, we're going to meet up. Uh, we'll probably end up trying both just to see if there's, like, more efficient, better ways to do it. But I think we're... I think we're just going to, like, I have a two mic setup that you guys see when Scan or Nioh can come over to my house. So we'll probably just do it here on a two mic setup. Uh, I think that's, w like, we're still working out the finest details of what we're doing here. But yeah, that's that's the idea. Uh, that's the idea, is that we'll be together and, and doing it and having a great time and trying to, you know, keep this damn game alive forever. I have it my way. Chess is going to die before Brood War. <laughs> Any chance we get casting with Scan or Nyokin as well? I mean, I don't mind to cast them, but for this, no. For this, this will be Nick and I. This is the Tastosis continuing to cast. We've already done the first 10 seasons. We want to continue. And we hope to. So this it will all be Tastosis cast on this. What about ASTL? So, I mean, we're going to see how this goes. We're going to see how this goes, but that's something Nick and I have talked about. We Like, 
it just it kind of matters, right? It's it's a possibility. It's something that if this goes well and people really are receptive to it, we get proper support and people are watching the VODs and really enjoying it and wanting more, then we can definitely have discussions like ASTL. Yeah, I already played in the ASL preliminaries. But, um, yeah. I mean, Nick and I, like, in the best case scenario here, people love this. This kicks off and we we grow it. Worst case scenario, people don't like it. We do it for a season and it goes away. <laughs> I, I don't think that'll be how it goes, but we'll see. Um, Yeah, the Patreon is open. The Patreon is open. So if you guys want to support, we we appreciate it very much. And yeah, we'll be we'll be uh, telling people a lot about this, this Patreon and hopefully we can get it up high enough that this all makes sense. All right. I mean, it seems like you guys are, are cool with what I've said here. So that's that's good to hear. I was worried when we have to tell y'all that we can't get the broadcasting rights and it's going to just be VODs. But honestly, most people do watch VODs. Some people do stay up into the wee hours to watch it live. But um, since most people watch the VODs anyways, I guess it's all right. No, it's our, it's our pleasure, guy in the chat. Thank you. Um, Nick and I really, really want to uh, cast ASL, so... No, we cannot live stream the casted VODs. To make this very, very clear, guys, the VODs will be going onto YouTube. They'll be uploaded to YouTube and to Afrika TV. They will not be on Twitch. How do we support English GSL? English GSL is fine, man. Casting tonight. <laughs> Tune in. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Will we be wearing blazers? Probably not, no. <laughs> I think that we'll just... Wear comfortable clothing, and that's, we'll call it a day on that, I think. Blazers with shorts is what we wear on GSL, guys. That's already been done, thank you. A lot of people that come to the studio are surprised. Patreon goal, so I have to wear blazers. I'll talk to Nick about it. I'm not changing anything right now. <laughs> that's everything for uh, ASL that I had to say today. Let's play some ladder. All right, Let's go. Good games on the ladder are bound. Just cheeses and rushes and all ins. Hope is at zero, but here comes a hero. Artosis, our king macro terror.